Alright guys, some big things are coming to MLB The Show. Now, to specify that, some big collections are coming to MLB The Show. And I am prepared. I've been preparing for this for a long time. Some people may know, some people may not. I have been collecting all throughout the year every single Takashi card that has come out. Every single one. I got Delgado. I got the Takashi Legend Packs. I got Hoffman. And I think those are the only ones to come out so far. And or no, and the Joe Morgan. Now they just announced a great Maddox. I hope. I fucking hope he is not going to be in the new collection like that you need him. He'll be in it, of course, but I hope that you don't need every single one. Because that's really gonna fuck me over. But there is a Takashi Okazaki collection for a legend hitter coming. And I think I know who it is. I think I'm pretty confident about who I think it is. Now, I think it's going to be like a 97 overall. Why do I think it's going to be a 97, not a 99? Mainly because on Friday afterwards, so this is like, what, Wednesday? I think this is a Wednesday update. On Friday, no, this is a Tuesday update. On Friday, we're getting the big Legends and Flashbacks collection. So we're going to be getting the big collection right fucking after so that is going to be a 99 so i don't think that the takashi collection will be a 99 but hey if it is i'm not going to complain i still think it's the same dude it does not change my opinion on who i think it is i still think now it does say a legend hitter i think it's going to be babe ruth that's who i think it's going to be i think it's obvious to me um we only have one black and white takashi card it was mickey mantle um who's also a former Yankee, but I feel like Babe Ruth is just that dude. I think I think he'd look fucking amazing in Takashi card art, and it's a legend hitter. We've only seen a gold card of him. I think he's the guy. He, I think he's either the big legend of Flashbacks collection, or he's the Takashi card. He's one or the other. We're either getting like a 99 or maybe like a 97. That's what I think is going to happen. Now, we might get a 99 or a 99. I don't know. That'd be pretty fucking nuts. But uh, I think personally that the, 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 the Takashi collection will be the uh, Babe Ruth. I don't know if they'll do another tier in the future. It'd be fucking awesome if they do because it seems like they keep on uploading more and more of these. Uh, or, or not uploading. It seems like they keep on bringing out more and more Takashi cards. So it wouldn't make sense if we get more than one tier. Coming up after that, by the way, though, we get Lou Gehrig Day, who's going to be the new program. With moments celebrating Lou Gehrig and two Diamond Player rewards, I think that's just a pl uh, I think that's just a program for the Roy Halladay collection. It's a real shame because that means that that Lou Gehrig. I will let you know right now. Don't get excited over the Lou Gehrig. He's not going to be that good. He's not. He is not going to be a 99 beast of a Lou Gehrig. He's not going to be like a 96, 97. He's not going to be a goon card by the looks of it. He looks like he's going to be a side player program, which we haven't gotten in a little bit, so it makes sense for the Roy Halladay program right before it ends, so that you can like get some XP right at the end to boost you a little bit if you need it. And uh, then right on Friday after, we are getting a new feature program, 30 players. So it's most likely going to be showing one player from every team. It's most likely the second team affinity, you could call it. I don't really know what they're going to center it around. Uh, but it's most likely going to maybe help into the Big Legends of Flashbacks collection. Or they're going to bring in a whole new collection. And you got to get these guys. And you got to get these guys for that big collection. We're not really sure. I uh, don't really know what's going to go on there. But the Big Legends of Flashbacks collection, man. I'm at a funk for who that could be. They kind of just say it's a big collection. They don't really tell you who it could be. Now, if they want to go with the same uh, formula, they might go with a reliever again. Uh, for the first tier, maybe a pitcher for the first tier, but because the big collection, like the live series collection was a pitcher this year, I think they're going to start off with a hitter uh, I don't really know who it's going to be, especially when it says Legends of Flashbacks collection, like, it's for the fact that that collection can be fucking anybody, it can be anybody, we haven't gotten a single bit of a hint, when it comes to the Takashi Okazaki collection I have an idea of who we've gotten in the collections uh, with the diversity between all the cards and for the fact that it's going to be a hitter not a pitcher so I don't I, I got something to go off there I don't really have something to go off on the big legends of flashbacks collection I, I don't even know if I could do a shoot in the dark I really don't um, 
it could be a new name, but they don't say it's going to be a new name, so I guess it might not be. Um, man, I don't know, man. I don't know who I put as a guest. Okay, there is one person I can think of, and I think people will be very disappointed. I can't lie. Um, I think it could be Jimmy Rollins. This could be horrible. <laughs> I don't think people really want a Jimmy Rollins. Like, he's good, but, like, people don't really see him as, like, a big guy who's really, really good, you know? Like, like, he's not one of those big names where it's like, holy shit, this guy's gonna fucking rake. Because he actually has kind of a mess swing. It's not that great. But he only has an 84 right now. It's very shit. And they did say that we'd be seeing Jimmy Rollins and Cliff Lee in the future because we were confused when we didn't see them in the Roy Halladay program. So, he might be in this. He might be in this. I'm not sure. I, I kind of hope not. Uh, I wouldn't complain too much. If it's the awards version, I'm gonna be really disappointed. I want something different. Um, we're just gonna have to hope, man. If they put a Jimmy Rollins out there, we're gonna have to hope they juice it to the max that they can. But we've seen a signature of him. We've seen a awards card. I think that signature actually wasn't too bad, but the awards I don't think was great. I'm not really sure how they're gonna end up doing this. Maybe a milestone. I don't know. Yet again, guys, the Jimmy Rollins is a shot in the dark. I'm just telling you right now, prepare. For the Takashi collection because that card is going to be fucking beautiful. It is going to be a work of art. It is going to be something you are going to want your hands on so goddamn badly. Gotta be ready for it, man. It's also going to play into the big collection. I'll tell you that right now. Whoever that collection series is, whoever the collection reward is, he's going to be one of the big cards like Adley, probably like Joe Maurer, that you're going to see that you're going to have to own in order to use it as a voucher by itself. So, be ready for that. But, uh, yeah, boys, that is going to do it for the video. That's really all I have to say. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.